Dear Box Ranch Granny here today. Uh, today we are going to make homemade bread. Now what you need for homemade bread is you need one cup of warm water, one package of dry yeast, up to three quarter cup of sugar, um, about a teaspoon of salt, third cup of oil, and about four cups of flour. It may take a little more, it may take a little less. So to start it off, and I have mine sitting on a heating pad, put your, wa your water, warm water, it needs to be about 100 degrees, 110 degrees in a bowl. Add your package of yeast. Now, I add three quarter cup of sugar because my family likes it, their bread just a little on the sweet side. But you don't have to add that much. If you just add a tablespoon of sugar so that it, your yeast has something to eat, that's all that you need. The bread won't be as sweet, but just as good. Rice is just as good. If you decide you'd like to add honey, it really does better later on. Still add, even if it's just a teaspoon of sugar, to give that yeast something. You know, sugar is kind of simple, so yeast eats it quick. Honey's a little more complex and takes a little bit longer. Now I let it set about 30 or 45 minutes. You can see right there how it's foamy on top. That is a good indicator that your yeast is working like it should. Now this is my heating pad and we'll just, we'll just move this out of the way. I use it, like I said, to keep my yeast warm and then I'll use it later. Uh, to set my bread on to let it rise. Now, if your oven has a pilot in it, your oven's probably warm enough to set it in there and you're able to let your yeast make in your oven and let your bread rise in your oven. That is awesome. My oven doesn't. So I start out, this is four cups of flour. I'll add just about half of that flour in there. And at that time, I'll go ahead and add my oil. And I'll also add my salt. Now, you got to have a little salt. It doesn't have to be much. I don't even use a full teaspoon. That's about a quarter teaspoon there. And I start mixing. And what we're going to do is get this good and mixed. And we're going to keep adding flour to it. Now, you can add almost all the flour at once but it's a little harder to mix. And I'm always for the easiest. Now with yeast or with, um, when you use yeast, it always does better in stainless steel or in glass. I don't know why, I just know I seem to have a more consistent of the yeast doing what I need it to. And a little more of that flour. As you can tell, we're, it looks like we're going to use this whole four cups. Pretty close to it. Took just a little less. I had a little flour left. Now I'm getting my hands in this. You know me at Gearbox Ranch. I, I, Granny likes to get her hands into things. Get that flour all in there good. Now yeast bread does better if you need it. And the purpose of kneading is to really make sure everything is mixed and you've got a smooth product. And that's just about perfect. I'm going to use the rest of this flour right here. There we go. Put it right there and knead. Now, you can get all your frustrations out on kneading. Goats broke into the chicken house. She's gonna give them what for not with this kneading. <coughs> Kids left a milk ring in the bottom of the glass. Just go for it. 
It's a healthy way to get it out of your system. Just beat that bread good. Now if you look, you can see this is real even all over. And that is all that's required. Now this is enough yeast to make two loaves. And what I'll do is I'll divide it up and I'll stretch it out. I'll go ahead and put it in a dish because I have a couple of loaves here. Now this is a loaf I just finished about an hour ago. I always spread. I just like them easy to come out. Take that loaf, mash it in there, and that is perfect because you are going to let this rise for about an hour and a half to two hours. You can let it rise longer. Once it makes it to the top, it's good and doubled. It's actually a little more than doubled. Then I turn on my oven. I do not preheat. Turn my oven to 350 and stick my bread right in there takes 30 to 35 minutes and you'll have beautiful beautiful brown color like that and if you let your bread cool this is cool you see I'm touching this glass let your bread cool it will come out of these glass containers just beautifully so easy and it slices really nice at this point. You can see a little butter on there. Oh, it's out of this world. My family loves it toasted in the morning for breakfast. Uh, sometimes I like to slice some. Put it on a plate, just a little butter. Stick it in the microwave for maybe 10 seconds, just long enough to let that butter melt. Or you can melt butter and brush it on. It is easy, easy to do. It's actually great. Um, great for supper. And like I said, once this cools completely, I will put these in a bag and store them. I'll go ahead and put this last loaf on so I can get it rising. I will store those. And in the morning, I will slice it and make toast with it. My family loves it. Would rather have this than regular bread. Well, this is Gearbox Ranch Granny. I am so glad you came to visit me this week. Remember, pray to your Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless every one of you, and I'll see you next week.